I, I, I just want to put on record, and he won't use this either, that the two things you need to protect causality, to protect cause and effect in the universe, you need the minus sign in the distance, and you need not you need a universal speed limit. You need the speed of light to be the the speed that things go when they've got no mass. And if you've got mass, you can't go at that speed. Those two things alone are enough to protect the future, protect the past from the future. Right? You've got to. That's another way of thinking about it. You've got. See, if, if time's a dimension, right, and you could move freely in it, then the future can influence the past. And in any sensible universe, you would think that the past were protected from things that happened in the future, or the present, right? You've got to protect it. And, and it is protected, but in a very subtle way in Einstein's theory. And actually, it's that protection, you could argue, that gives us this sense of going through time. The, the, the reason we have to go through the time dimension, forwards in time, at this inexorable speed towards the future, is very closely related to that idea of protecting the past from the future. Chronology, it's got to be, you get a chronological universe, an ordered universe. 